And what is up everybody, welcome back to the Ace Crypto YouTube channel, I'm Ace Crypto, thank you very much for joining me today. So we're going to jump in today with the Bitcoin market cap and a few other bits and bobs, we've got American credit card debt coming up, we've got UK CBDCs and more. So don't forget to stick around till the end guys, make sure to smash that subscribe button and uh, let's get on with it. So let's jump on in with Bitcoin, we've got $23,197, so we have dropped substantially over the past 24 hours. We can jump on over to the chart real quickly, we'll roughly see what I mean. So we seem to be bouncing between these two ranges at the moment. As you can see, these two lines starting to come to a bit of a uh, meeting point there. We should find a breakout either to the top or the bottom, depending on what's going to happen in the next 24 hours. So keep your eye on the charts, guys. Not really much to report as of yet, but it's looking interesting. So it just seems to be a little bit more of a sideways movement, pretty similar to what we had over here, I would imagine. So if you are trading at the moment, like bouncing back and forth trading, is probably the best time to do so because I don't see this um, basically going much further up or much further down we might drop to the 20k but if we do we probably will hit back up if we can't turn this into a support then we will drop back down to this level down here so let's jump on over to the crypto bubbles next because crypto bubbles is always interesting so we've got AGIX 64% so AGIX Singularity Net is an AI coin AI narrative obviously pumping like uh, like you've never seen before so AGIX 64% I definitely wait for this to come back down if you are going to pick up some uh, AI coins there are loads of others to look at guys vector space is another one fetch AI is another one so make sure you're checking out on a few of these AI coins and not just following the uh, the only one that's pumping at the moment so there are a few others out there so don't forget so moving on, what's the first thing we got to talk about today? No, nope, that's Twitter. First thing we're going to talk about today is going to be the CBDCs. So, Bank of England, UK Treasury support a digital pound project, or the Britcoin, as some people are dubbing it. So basically, what's going to happen is by 2020, no, by 2030, I do believe they are going to have a usable CBDC British coin essentially so it's looking very interesting uh, you know it seems to be the UK is going to be the hub of cryptocurrencies at the moment we just jump on over to you we can see London emerges as the world's most crypto ready city for businesses so if we scroll on down we can see a few of the metrics they're using to measure this uh, while considering eight key indicators around tax ATMs jobs and events in crypto around London uh, most ready crypto city in the world. So if we scroll on down, we can see uh, we got London, Dubai, New York, a few of the other ones, Kuwait down there, quite far down. So we can scroll on down to this metric here, whether to show you guys real quickly. We can see London, country UK, quality of life score. So they're scoring every city or, you know, every city and uh, every country. So you can see crypto based events, people working in crypto, 2,173 people working in crypto inside London alone. Crypto based companies, super, super interesting number of Bitcoin ATMs. So it's looking really, really interesting for uh, crypto in the UK at the moment. Thanks to Rushi Sunak. So Rushi Sunak is a new prime minister and he's uh, desperately trying to make a, uh, a financial space for crypto within the UK so it's looking really really bullish for crypto in the UK at the moment so it's one thing to be said uh, our interest rates are not great at the moment but the fact that uh, we're more or less crypto ready is good so let's jump on over what we got next ah this is an interesting one so chat gbt help trx or tron in the wake of tron's assistance in open ai so i'm not too sure if tron are actually partnering with open ai and uh, chat gbt or whether they are just facilitating payments so let's jump into this an interest industry leading decentralized stablecoin financial infrastructure tron will provide ai oriented uh, decentralized payment frameworks for ai systems chat gpt and open ai so I don't know if this is confirmed as actually usable with OpenAI and ChatGPT yet, but it could be interesting. It could be the thing that saves Tron. So Justin, what's his name? Justin Soon. So I do believe when he released the Tron project, he pretty much rugged his own project. So Tron seemed like a very, very interesting ecosystem. You know, it's all about giving back uh, control to the content creators and stuff like that. So you would have thought a lot of the content creators would have got behind Tron. But obviously, with the dumping of the tokens, of his own tokens, it didn't particularly go well. So hopefully, this can bring back Tron into the limelight, you know? Moving on. Crypto gaming project skyrockets 300%. 
So I haven't actually heard of this one myself, guys. So WEMIX is a platform that supports blockchain-based games for over 378,000 games, according to the website. So it seems interesting. I've never actually heard of this one, strangely enough. I did do my due diligence on uh, Metaverse projects when the uh, narrative was uh, Metaverse-orientated, but uh, as it looks at the moment, not very orientated. So, last month, the project launched a new fan token to allow its creators to monetize and connect with their supporters. So obviously this is why the token is a massive at the moment. So it's starting to get to a point where NFTs and metaverse games are starting to be a little bit more um, feasible again. So usually what happens is uh, the money within the crypto industry dwindles and everyone starts focusing on DeFi and uh, little other things within the industry. Uh, they seem to put um, NFTs and metaverse projects to the side. Whenever we get a little bit of a rush of money into the, sis, into the sector, basically we get a massive rush in terms of metaverse projects and NFTs. So, let's move on over. See, this is quite funny. I don't know if this is real. It doesn't look real. But this is basically what uh, the HMRC is, uh, what our government website looks like over in the UK. And someone's actually made a head of central bank digital currency uh, job application. Whether this is true or not, it doesn't look like it, but it's still pretty funny. And uh, someone's saying there, what's his name? Uh, Bitcoin Brown. We need some D for DGN mofo to apply and su uh, get successful in this job so we can intentionally rug the UK government. <laughs> funny, a little bit funny. So let's move on over and we've got this little thing from Jeremy Hogan, I think his name is. Yeah, Jeremy Hogan, so he's an attorney, I do believe. So basically, I just wanted to read this out to you real quickly, very interesting. Bank accounts is not covered by actual coins or notes. If all of the account holders at Barclays Bank suddenly demand their money, Barclays will promptly collapse unless the government steps in. So basically what he's saying there is like, uh, you know, same with a lot of these other crypto companies that have ended up going bankrupt. If everyone tries to draw their money at the same time, we run into problems, especially in the banking sector, unless the government obviously step in and uh, bail them out. So basically what he's saying is, uh, you know, try to relax a little bit in terms of the crypto industry. It's not all a Ponzi. It's just we're not backed by governments yet. So it's difficult to give everyone their money back in terms of like Celsius, Voyager, Three Hours Capital, etc. So interesting there. Interesting, um, interesting view. So what else have we got? Yeah, there's a credit card debt. So US credit card debt jumps 18.5% in one year. Nearly 20% in one single year. So to 938, 930.6 billion. Wow, <laughs> too many numbers today. So 930.6 billion. So if you think about it, credit card debt is nigh on equivalent to the entirety of the crypto industry put together. All of it. <laughs> and that's quite surprising. And that's just credit card debt, man. That's not the rest of the debt. That's not housing debt, business debt, and all the rest of the debt stacked on top. So, looking very, very interesting. It's not looking good for credit card debt. So all these years, people have been begging you to get credit cards because it's like very good for your credit score and you won't get anywhere without a credit card. And look what happens. Look what happens. You're better off if you can't, if you, you know, if you don't have a credit card already, you're better off, you know, trying to get on without one, to be honest, because it's looking like the interest rates for credit cards are going astronomical and they charge it in America up to $32 just to pay your bills. And it doesn't cost them $32 to pay your bills, I promise. Neither does late fees cost anywhere close. So that's pretty much all we have time for today, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. Make sure you're liking and smashing all the subscribe buttons. And uh, <clears throat> all the love on the channel lately has been great. So we have moved up from 93 to like 96 subscribers, if I refresh this. So it's looking really, really good. So uh, we will be doing more uh, short, short form videos later on. So if you are uh, happy with the channel and happy with me, make sure you smash the like button. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for joining me today.